Now on BBC News, Future Earth, episode one. No matter where you live, you probably noticed that 2023 was hot. In fact, the summer was the hottest on record. And as we continue to burn fossil fuels, the science says our planet will continue to get hotter. So how do we keep the cities we live in cool? Well, there are some real life solutions here and now. I'm Carl Nassman, and this is Future Earth. Welcome to the new series, shining a light on the simple, real-world solutions we already have to help us solve the biggest challenge of our lifetimes. Each week, we'll be taking you on a journey from our forests to the oceans, examining where we live, how we travel, and what we eat. We'll show you some of the paths for tackling the climate crisis, meeting the innovators, action takers, and climate heroes who are truly making a difference. Coming up this week, we meet the volunteers working to keep the city of Atlanta cool and keep these trees from disappearing. The simple solutions that are already making a difference, one coat at a time. How we can protect our bodies from the effects of extreme heat, plus the people truly in the hot seat. Chief heat officers preparing cities for a hotter future. We start with those record-breaking temperatures of 2023. Several cities in the U.S. were sweltering, but probably no one had it quite as bad as people living in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, the state capital saw at least 55 days at or above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. As we know, global warming is making heat waves more frequent and more intense, and of course, Extreme heat is also a matter of survival. In the U.S., it's a bigger killer than hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods combined, potentially contributing to as many as 12,000 premature deaths per year in the U.S. So how can we keep our communities cool? Well, it can feel like a huge challenge, but this is just one of the simple but powerful solutions, trees. It's an old idea finding a new urgency, as I found out recently in the city of Atlanta. 